Hi, it's Mike Ames here and uh, I want to talk to you today about something that's very important to a lot of people and that is that they don't seem to be able to find time to do new business sales. Now, whether you're somebody who has another job to do like a lawyer, an accountant or a consultant um, but also expected to, to win new clients or whether you're someone like me who does predominantly account management and sales it doesn't make any difference. The problem is the same. Don't seem to have enough time. But the cause of that problem, strangely enough, is also relatively common. And that is, we try and do blocks of new business sales. I, I was out with um, one of my clients a few weeks ago, and she's very good, you know, but she wasn't delivering the results. And it, it took me about a minute to realize what the problem was. Because I said to her, well, how are you doing things? And she said, well, I, I put aside a couple of hours every Friday to do some new business. And I said, oh, that's good. And she said, I've just not done any of it. Not done a single Friday afternoon because something else has cropped up that's been more important. She's a lawyer and so therefore has always got some law to do. And that's the problem right there is that you cannot do new business developments in big chunks of time. What you need to do is break it down into very small chunks, five and ten minutes. That's the only way really that you'll get it done. The idea that you could even find an hour where you could just sit and make some telephone calls, it, it's, it sounds good, but it's just, it's just not realistic. So what you need to do then, if you're going to, to take this approach uh, of picking off a little bit of time here and a little bit of time there, is to be very clear what it is that you can use that time on. Now, I use this method and have done for years. All my new clients have come from these sort of little bites of, of sales time. And the, the reason I can do that is that I'm very well organized in terms of my prospects and the next actions. In other words, the next contact that I'm going to make with my prospects is all documented on my CRM system. Now, um, there's a couple of things I want to say about this. First of all, the time when you make your new business calls or send your emails is crucial. I published a blog on this a, a, a wee while ago and I put a little link underneath this video so that you can go and quickly read it. It's very short and it talks about hot sales times, the times when you're most likely to get through to somebody. So that's well worth a read. I like to get all my new business done before nine o'clock in the morning. The second thing is this organization piece. Now, I'm not going to explain how that works in detail in this blog. However, underneath this video, there's a second link which is going to take you to a free tutorial. You have to register for it, but it's free, which will tell you exactly how to set up this approach, the one that I use. And it'll show you how to use Outlook tasks as a sort of a mini CRM system. Um, and it'll show you, how, therefore, how to always have some, some sales tasks that you can actually get stuck into with your five and 10 minutes. Now, the approach is very simple. You essentially have a big list of things that you need to do with people, uh, your prospects, stretching out into the future. What this system does is isolate I don't know, between five and ten of those each week, puts them in a place where you can see them, a to-do list, um, and then gradually you just pick them off. So the way in which it works for me is I arrive early for a meeting, I'm in the car, I think, do you know what, I'll make a quick sales call. So I have a look, find something I can do, ring them up and do it. It's done. See, that's the secret. If I was going to put aside a block of time, it just would not happen, and it probably doesn't for you. So let me just summarize. What's important is that we don't look for big blocks of sales time when we're trying to win new clients. It just isn't going to work for us. What we do is we go for five or 10 minutes, preferably before nine o'clock or after 5.30, but it doesn't have to be. And then what we're going to do is have a system which always feeds us with a series of little actions that we can do when we find ourselves with some time. And I kid you not, if you think about that, if you add that time up, even 10 minutes a day over a year is a week of new business sales time. A week. It's enormous, isn't it? OK, so don't forget, uh, scan down, reread that blog about that, the best time to ring people uh, and have a look at those tutorials. So it's all free and it's great stuff. So until next time. Uh, good luck at hunting and as we say in flair, if you want it go and get it. You take care now.